Hey, this is Andrew from AJS Woodworks. In this video, I'll be showing you how I took this old handle off of one of my mom's spatulas and replaced it with one I made from scratch. As you can see, the old handle is pretty rotten. It's falling apart, and I took it off with some screwdrivers, and after I took it off, it was pretty dirty, so I used a wire brush attachment on my Dremel and cleaned up the handle, cleaned up the pins, as you can see they're pretty dirty too and now they're clean and so that does it for my introduction just wanted to show you a little backstory of my project and the rest of the video will just be compiled videos throughout my project and I hope you enjoy it what I have here is one of my mom's old spatulas the handle rotted off of it pretty much so I just broke what was left off of it and I'm gonna make a new one for it. And this is the piece of wood I'll make the handle out of. It's cherry and as you can see I have it all marked out where the handle will go. Traced along it to see how long it was. Marked it right there. And then I'll make sure to cut off this knot right here so that doesn't go in the handle. And then the handle will go up to that point. This will be closed off. And I'll just slide the handle in the side like that. So I'll be cutting a slot right here all the way to the same place on the other side with a saw so I can slide the handle in there. Alright, so I'll start working on it. Alright, so now I'm going to start cutting the slot for the handle. I'm just going to take my saw around that marked out line. Alright, so now I'm just going to keep cutting along that line until I have it even or a slot for the handle to fit in. Alright, now I've got the, the slot sawed so the handle can fit in it. And I've got markings where I can drill holes for the handle posts. So now I'm going to drill the holes. got both holes drilled and I've just got to make sure they line up with the handle and then stick the pins in. Alright so now I've got it sanded down a little bit thinner so in order for these pins to go in uh, they need a little bit bigger hole than what I have. The hole that I have is about the thickness of the pin itself but it has a, um, a different head on it I forget what it's called but it sinks into the wood so I gotta kinda drill a slightly larger hole at the top in order for it to be flush with the wood so if I could find a chuck for my Dremel that was thick enough then I could use my Dremel drill press with this drill bit but it's too big for my Dremel so I just have to use a regular old drill to do this but I just kind of take off a little bit at the top I'm not going to drill this thick all the way through As you 
can see I'm just taking a little bit out. Alright, so now when I put the pins in, they are pretty much flush with the wood. So that should help with putting them in. Alright, so now I used a little bit harder surface to hammer on and uh, got the pins flush with the wood now. Um, I didn't use any uh, epoxy or anything. I was going to, but they're in there pretty good, so unless it starts to come apart while I'm working on it, I won't use any of that, but if it does, then I'll gladly put some on there. Alright, so the next step will be to shape the handle since I have it on here now. And for that, I'm just going to use my Dremel with a sanding bit. And I'll just go up and down that line right there. And so I'll get started. I'll just continue to do that until I get it down to the metal handle. Alright, now I've got most of the rough shaping done. Um, got it up next to the metal handle on the side and back. And now I'm going to tape up the spatula because in order to sand that down and not scratch up the metal, I have to tape it. So do that and finish up the finer shaping. Alright, so after I taped up the spatula, I used my Dremel and narrowed down the end, make it go in a little bit smoother with the spatula. Also took off this corner right there so it looks a little bit better. And that pretty much does it for the rough shaping. Uh, next step is just to use some fine sandpaper to make it look better and a lot smoother so that's what I'll be doing next alright so now after all the fine sanding uh, the handles all shaped I uh, will have to buff the spatula a little bit because I scuffed it up a little bit even with 1200 grit sandpaper still scuffs it up so I'll just have to buff above the metal and I'll buff the rest of the handle so that's prepared for oiling so that's what's coming up next all right now that I got the handle shaped and everything I now have my initials burned onto the back and after I burned my initials I went ahead and re-sanded it got it down to a fine sanding again because the after you burn it, it can be a little bit jagged so got that done and now I'm going to buff it to get it all nice and shiny I just use my Dremel with a buffing bit on it and then after I buff it I'll coat it with oil And I'll just continue to buff the handle all the way around. Alright, so I've got the handle all buffed now. Uh, it's all shiny. And now it's ready for uh, coating with oil. So, because this is a spatula and it's going to be around food, I don't want to use something like linseed oil, which is toxic. Uh, the, at least the boiled linseed oil is. So... I'm going to be using just olive oil and I've never used it before so this is kind of going to be an experiment. I don't know how it makes the wood look or anything but let's see what it does. And of course since it is olive oil it will be safe to have around food.
So it does bring out the grain like most oils. Um, I'll have to see, have to let it dry for a while to see what it looks like after it, after it's dried. I don't know if it'll hold a sheen very long or not, but uh, we'll have to see. So I'll let this dry for a little while and then show you what it looks like. Alright, so now I've finished the handle, let the the oil dry for a little while and it still has a good sheen so that's nice um, I wasn't, wasn't sure if it was going to lose the sheen or not since I never used olive oil on a handle before but it seems to turn seems to have turned out pretty well um, we'll have to see after a lot of use if it dulls down any I'm sure it will most handles do dull down after you use them quite a bit but I can always just buff it and re-oil it um, so that's my spatula handle project. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.